Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dramatical Murder demo. If you haven't seen the previous parts, I have a playlist, please go that check that out. Or if you want to play the game yourself, I have links in the description. Don't want to miss the next video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and also like I'm going to do this at the beginning, leave a like if you like these. It helps a lot. You might not see the like count, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I need to see that people are interested. Previously, we have met Clear, I believe. It has been a while since I have played the game. Clear fell out from the sky, went on his way with his umbrella. This evening, after I finished work, I head to Music Keys with a package. We just got in an order from Music Keys shop, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to stop by. Mizuki's shop, the Black Needle, is just north of Humdrum Junk. It started as just a tattoo parlor, but after he turned the waiting room into a bar, it became something of a social spot too. Wow. Tattoos are pretty popular in the city, both as fashion statements and to indicate rib affiliation, so Mizuki's shop does pretty well. Of course, Mizuki is one of the artists, so he'd ink me if I asked. I have no interest in that stuff though. The sun is starting to set by the time I approach the Black Needle. This is Dry Juice territory. <laughs> this is Dry Juice territory. Gang members dot the area. I got to know some of them through Mizuki, so I usually don't have any trouble passing through. Ah, Aoba san. Bye. Oh, 久しぶり。Mizuki san ni yousu ka? Uchi ni chumou haitte da kara sa, todake ni kita. Oh, I talk with him, Aoba. Mizuki san. It's not far. The dry juice space is huge, encompassing several alleys. It's expanded over time as their membership has grown. The members are scattered through the various alleys, but music can always be found in the same spot. He's standing in front of a staircase covered with a large dry juice tag, talking to some of his members. He waves me over when he sees me. My daddy! Heibon Takkyubin desu! Ah, Tanondo ite yatsuka. Thank you. I hand him the package and send the receipt with my coil. Once Mizuki confirms it, the delivery is complete. Waza waza, arigato na. Omae no tokoro misette, minor na parts mo atsukatte ru kara. I follow Mizuki out of the alley. Gang members greet him as, he, as we walk by. A few men bow formally, to which Mizuki smiles awkwardly in response. Oh. Ooh. The black needle is tucked away in a black building with only a little sign identifying it. Stepping through the door, I'm immediately greeted by upbeat music. Sorry, I like this song. <laughs> the waiting room, which also doubles as a bar, is much bigger than you'd think from the outside. In the dim light, I see a few people lounging on couches, reading magazines, or chatting quietly. To the left is the front desk, and to the right is the bar. The door in the back leads to the tattoo studio. While I check out the shop, Mizuki starts talking to the part-timer at the front desk. I ask casually after Mizuki finishes. His expression darkens. Oh, what's wrong? いや、ほら。昨日話しただろ。うん。髪隠し。ああ。あれのせいもあると思うんだよな。客減ってんの。え。みんな怖がってで歩かなくなってるとか。まだそこまでの影響は出てないだろうが、全体的に落ちてるっ
本当か嘘かは全然わかんねえんだけど。Mizuki beckons to me, his expression grave. アイリアナン。チームラチってんの。やっぱりモルヒネだって話だ。そんなわけねえだろう。だってモルヒネは。モルヒネを見たってやつも出てきたらしいんだよ。Oh? どうせ注目浴びたいバカの出任せだろう。そんなの信じるのか。だから、本当か嘘かわかんねえって言っただろう。人から聞いただけだしな。とにかく今、リブのチームはみんな襲撃を受ける恐れがあるってんで、さっき立ってる。まあ、でも。モルヒネだろうとなんだろうとうちには関係ねえけどな敵じゃねえしだな、uh. I turn a smile but something about this doesn't sit right with me I think Mizuki's been a little too into rib lately LP doesn't run himself ragged You jinx it You jinx it そうだなんか飲むかあっち行こうぜ I don't want anything to happen to this bean <laughs> No Start towards the bar, but before I get there, a tattoo design displayed on the front desk catches my eye. It's framed like it's important. Kore, my car out to Ah, sorry. Yeah, Orega son case to Horishkara Moratanda. Kako Idaro Kamino Udema, the Yume Nakhorandago. Mise Motaritoka Stenaktesa. She Ichigen San Okotawari Tekotoka. My bad. So, so. Just a way, Goose and Kono Misenite, Sonotoki, Moratandao. Nankayapa, Susan, I or I'll conjure it to that. He seems genuinely happy. I guess he really liked the guy. So, none is going at a what am I kind of meet him, Tina? Oh, my horan and all. Fresh. Hm. I don't. Ja, damn it. Yeah. えー、どうしてもというなら100万円になりますたかぼったくりだろう<笑> oh, that's a nice ringtone. My call beeps while we were laughing. Delivery works. It's a call from Delivery works. もしもし Yoshi, I'm sorry. 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 I'm After I get off the phone, I explained what happened to Mizuki and dash over to Delivery Works. According to Miss Yoshi, Granny collapsed on her way to a patient's house to deliver some medicine. Oh no! She was near Delivery Works when it happened, so they brought her there. I run as fast as my legs will carry me. My heart is pounding and I'm out of breath. Adrenaline makes my toes and fingers tingle. Granny's collapsed from overwork before. Back then, it was my fault because I made her worry. I remember how I trembled with fear at the thought of losing her. I never want to feel like that again. Oh. I have to get there faster. Granny. Ah, line delivery me. That's the first thing out of her mouth when I burst through the door of delivery works. Granny is leaning back in a chair. When I see that she's alright, my legs almost give up beneath me. It turns out that Granny just threw out her back. That's why she collapsed. It wasn't a stroke or anything. The way Miss Yoshi described it, it sounded like something far more serious. She apologized profusely after I arrived. To be honest, it does feel a bit anticlimactic, but I'm just glad she's alright. That said, Granny can't walk yet, so I have to carry her home. Oh.
Granny complains from her perch atop my back. I walk slowly to avoid jostling her. Jostling her too much. Oh my god, I never had to say that word out loud. しょうがねえだろ。みんな心配なんだよ、ばあちゃんのことが。俺だって。私はまだまだ元気だよ。それはよく分かってるけどさ。ちょっと動けなくなったくらいですぐ死んじまうみたいな扱いしやがって。出て
I want to stay and look after her, but she's not having any of it. I call Mr. Haga, who tells me I can come in now and leave early. So I give up and head to work. What's this? Who's calling? Incoming mail. No subject. Kojak. I'm standing behind my desk, worrying about Granny when the message arrives. It's from Kojak. Mizuki. Mizuki. Can I read this? Is it, is it gonna be for me? If Kojaku feels the need to message me about it, Mizuki must have really been acting strange. No! You jinxed it, Aoba! Okay, I'm gonna read this. <clears throat> Kojak. No subject. So I saw Mizuki earlier. He's acting weird. I tried to talk to him, but he just stared at me. I think he might have an easier time talking to you if something's eating at, at him. Sorry. Call him when you get the chance. We'll talk more later. Maybe Mizuki's been pushing himself too hard. Yeah. Head to the bathroom to call Mizuki. Mizuki? At the sound of his voice, I feel a wash of relief. Uh, yeah. ちょっと元気ねえなって思っ Hmm. I head back to the counter with a sigh. Mizuki's voice didn't have its usual energy. He said he was fine, and I thought better to not push the subject, but... First Granny collapses, now I have this to worry about. Though I hope my concerns are unfounded, they stay with me through the rest of the afternoon. I barely get any work done. Go visit. No. Okay. Arriving home from work, I pull out my key from some. I pull out my key with some apprehension. I hope Granny was behaved. I hope. I hope Granny has behaved herself. But just as I put the key in the door, Are... don't tell me. Aita. The door isn't locked. Did I forget to lock it again? <laughs> we live in a pretty tight... Tight night? Tight knit? Tight night. It says tight night community. Is that how you actually... Wow, I never knew that. <laughs> tight night community? Or is it tight knit? I don't know. We live in a pretty tight night community. But the town being what it is, burglars are not at all uncommon. I listen carefully as I enter the house, feeling sick to my stomach. How could I be so careless? No sign of an intruder. I take off my shoes and head straight for Granny's room. I quietly open the door and peer inside. Granny is there, asleep under her comforter. Looks like she's fine. I heave a sigh of relief and close the door. Mm -hmm. I pause on the stairs. Something feels off. Granny is sleeping, so the house is quiet. Nothing is out of place. Maybe it's just my imagination. While pondering this, I climb the stairs and open the door to my room. At which point, I immediately realized that that the love the I immediately realized that it wasn't my imagination at all. Oh my god, who is is this? Who I think it is? No, it's not exactly. I'm not exactly proud of it, but my room has never been what you call clean. <laughs> I had books and magazines piled up on the floor, plus all sorts of other stuff I left out because that was less annoying than cleaning up. But I don't remember it being quite this bad. My room is com my room is a complete disaster. It looks like a tornado ripped through it. There isn't e even 
anywhere to stand. All the shelves have been pulled out and the table is upside down. But that isn't even the most unsettling thing amid the, mi amid the mess. A man is sitting in front of my computer. His back is to me, like it's his room, not mine. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Uh-huh. I know you. You were so popular. <laughs> he looks up slowly like he only just noticed I was there. I've never seen this I've never seen the man before. He looks about my age. Uh, uh, what is that voice? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, this is such an interesting picture. Hold on. This is so cool. Look, man. <laughs> what is that? What is that dialogue? Look, man. <laughs> He just ignores me as I stand there, trembling with rage, and taps the keyboard with his middle finger. What do you mean? ここに入ってるオールメイトの改造プログラムも複雑だし、あんた一体何なの？知るか？いいから出てけよ。<笑> He raises to his feet with a snort. なんださ。俺のこと知らねえの。はあ。知ってると思うんだけど。全然知らねえし、人違いだろ。He stares right at me, then slowly opens his mouth. この度はお越しいただき至極光栄。それでは楽しいゲームを始めよう。Rabbit. Yeah. Or have I heard that before? She just saw it. Come on. I have a really bad feeling about this. I don't remember. He pulls something out of his pants pocket. If I stopped at pants. <laughs> Sorry. Inappropriate joke. It's a keychain with a tiny rabbit head on the end. Oh my god. Ooh. It's him. I guess he's satisfied with my reaction because he tosses the keychain aside and looks at me again. Ah, so he has Confirmation. Confirmation. <laughs> あんたがあの店で働いてるってわけか。あんたに来てもらおうと思ってね。別に金は払ってたし、そっちの店としては特にそうもしなかっただろ。あいみんいや、ぶたつのい。いろいろ調べたら、あんたがあの店で働いてる
Look into my eyes and see the truth. He stares into my eyes <laughs> like he's searching for something. <laughs> the um, truth. I mean, I don't think I was down for that. He shows me into wall even harder. Why not? Well, Aoba at least thinks he's not lying. What, 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 he shoots a meaningful glance at the computer. <gasps> Not Ren. I know what he means by that. Ren. No. He's not bluffing. He can. I can feel the threat hanging in the air. He's. He'll really destroy Ren's data. No, hold on. <laughs> He'll really destroy Ren's data if I don't give him what he wants. But the fact is, I don't want to fight in rhyme. And the guy's starting to piss me off. I fight back. What is this guy 12? <laughs> but what if though? I don't know. What is this guy 12? Hold on. <laughs> He's just like a little kid throwing a tantrum. I mean, his glare unflinching. What? But he throws me down, cutting me off mid sentence. Ah, great. Pain shoots up my back as he climbs on top of me. Um. Hold on. Let's slow down. I can't take. We can't take a beat down like this. With a blank expression, he grabs my arm and twists it. No! Oh, oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can we talk about this? This guy, we talked about this and it didn't work. What are we gonna do? What? My elbow. Ah, uh, my elbow groans as he twists my arm backwards. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to fight him in rhyme and I don't want to get Red involved either. What should I do? I hear someone up the stairs, I hear something on the roof! Okay, we're gonna coin flip this. Heads for stairs, tails for roof. Okay. And it's tails, we are going for the roof. We'll pick the roof next time. So thank you everyone for joining me. If you're interested in seeing what the option, other option would give you, go check out the game, links in the description, or if you want to see the previous parts, at the playlist, subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and thank you to this month's patrons! Thank you so so much for your support! If you are interested in becoming a patron and getting early access to videos and other stuff as thank you, I have a link to my Patreon. Check that out. We would love to have you there. I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>